Welcome to Utah. It's late January 2023 and I'm out in our Winnebago Revel on BLM land sort of near Escalante. Over the past few weeks I've been making my way up through Arizona and then Nevada and now I'm working my way into Utah to pick up my 1991 Land Rover Defender 110 which I abandoned at a friend's house early last year due to a family emergency. So my goal is to get there with the van and tow it back home to Arizona. This view. Weather-wise, my journey so far has been mild and dry, but once I got into Utah and passed through Zion National Park from west to east, the snow became inescapable, and I knew that would happen. That's okay. But it does mean, as a solo travel enthusiast, that I have to proceed with a lot more care. I do prefer to venture far off the beaten path, but always with a great amount of confidence that everything will be okay. Obviously, you can never guarantee that, but you can do your best to be prepared and make calculated decisions. Utah. Always a spectacle. Not all calculated decisions are about personal safety. Sometimes it's about impact. By this time of day, all the backcountry routes are very sloppy. So the last thing I want to do is drive around in my 10,000 pound RV and displace earth and make ruts everywhere. So I'm just going to hold my position here for the remainder of the day. And then tomorrow morning, I'll head out when the ground's still frozen. I guess I'm just going to have to suffer this campsite for another night. Oh no. What do I do on cold winter nights inside the van? Well, after Bagel Bites, if I have internet connectivity, I use this opportunity to curate my GPS data. When I'm out on adventure like this, I use Gaia GPS to record all of my movement and to mark all points of interest. Whether that's a campsite, a unique natural feature, or even a Taco Bell. And if you're not familiar, I make my GPS data for my travels available to Patreon subscribers and also downloadable from VentureForward.com with a membership subscription. I am out of shape. Maybe it's the bagel bites, I don't know. 
I got an early start this morning and I'm going on a hike outside of Escalante. I think any other time of year this would be a very busy trail, but in late January and freezing temperatures, this is phenomenal. The scenery is amazing. I have it all to myself. Off season for the win. According to the map, it's a low impact, three mile out and back, so six miles total. I need to do this more often, go hiking. Not just for the scenery, but uh, for the exercise. Gaia GPS says that I went 8.22 miles round trip. Seems a little bit high, but I was in a canyon, so maybe the reading is off. That was an awesome hike, and no one else is here on a Tuesday afternoon in January. This place is a ghost town, man. I do recommend starting this hike in the morning. It seems like sunlight hits the falls around noon, at least in January. And then shortly after that, it's uh, Shady Canyon. It was cold at the base of the falls. I mean, it was really cold. Although I'm sure in the warmer months, it's an excellent place to cool off. Probably not the most private though. The van is getting it done. I could keep plowing forward, but number one, 
I have no idea what's down that road. And number two, when you push it like that, the challenges and also the risks start to compound. So before I get myself in too deep, I'm going to backtrack and look for a campsite elsewhere. Sort of bums me out because I was looking at the satellite imagery and I have a feeling about down there. It looks cool. There's a fire ring right over there. Nobody's been here since the snow. Surrounded by junipers. Yeah, this is lovely. Deep powder, Re really deep, up to my thighs, but I'm not a tall person either. Today I'm finishing the drive that I started a few weeks ago to pick up my Land Rover Defender 110 high cap from my friends Kevin and Sarah's house. I got another early start this morning and it was a beautiful drive through the mountains in southern Utah. The area that I just came from around Escalante and Grand Staircase is possibly my favorite part of Utah. It has all of the same grandeur that you might see painted on the walls of a maverick restroom, but it's more remote and not nearly as crowded as a lot of the other major attractions in southern Utah. I'm very much looking forward to revisiting the area that I was just at in the warm season when I can cover more ground. I made it. I'm sitting in the Defender for the first time since April of 2022, and it's now, well, it's now February of 2023. So it's been a long time. As you know, a lot happened since I last saw the truck, so uh, this brings back weird feelings. But next on the agenda is getting it out of Kevin's backyard. Oh, and also seeing if it starts. It'll start. It just happens to be like 10 degrees Fahrenheit outside, so that would 
challenge uh, a lot of vehicles. I am going to call that a wrap for this episode. Tune in next week to see, well, what happens next. Can we get it started? How's the van towing it? Remember, GPS data is available to Patreon subscribers. Thank you all for watching, and we'll see you next week.